Up first, Toys for Tots Knoxville needs your help. The organization pops up every year around this time, helping less fortunate families enjoy the holidays with toys they wouldn't be able to afford otherwise. Six on your side's Kirsty Crawford hears from the local coordinator who is asking for more than toy donations. Our need for toys is just, it's, it's huge. Boxes are starting to show up around East Tennessee. Hopefully soon, they'll be filled with toys. This year, the Toys for Tots in Knoxville really needs those boxes filled. Last year, we were right around 300 parents that had signed up for their kids. Right now, I'm over 600 parents that have signed up for kids, and those ki uh, parents have more than one kid. Jeremiah James is the campaign coordinator for Knoxville this year, but his group serves more than just Knox County. It serves families in several surrounding areas as well. The reason why I do it is, because of the faces or the, you know, a lot of them will say, hey, my kids weren't going to get anything this year for Christmas, and this is, you know, th this would be the only type of toys that they get for, or the only toys they get, and so you're making Christmas for the kids. He's had a pretty big snag this year, and he's asking a specific type of business to answer the call. James is in dire need of a warehouse. I'm just running into all types of roadblocks, every direction. No warehouse space located. We, we were already in a warehouse space last year around this time, and this year we're not, so we are behind, hugely behind. They can't do anything until they get a space for the toys, so more than 600 applications are just waiting. Really, we can't do anything. We can't approve any kid, um, any, any of the applications for the parents to get toys um, because we don't have the location for them to come pick them up. It's only November. James says hundreds more applications for toys will come in before Christmas. The more businesses help out by donating gifts or space, the better the holidays will be for these families. We don't really have a most popular one. Usually the kids are, you know, whatever they get, they're just grateful for, you know, for that. So um, that's all we're just looking for is just, just make them happy. <laughs> Kirsty Crawford, WATE6, on your side. And Toys for Tots in Knoxville needs that warehouse to rent up until December and also more volunteers. Everything is volunteer and donation based. You can find out how to help by heading over to our website, wate.com.